here. Speaking of, I still have cold vulnerability here. So let's keep that in mind. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. I could potentially, though, go full army strats. Do you have abjuration, my friend? Ah, oh, they always have abjuration, you son of a gun. 3d25? Wait, did I read that right? 3d25 on the throw ice skull. Oof. Oof, oof. Um, hmm. Do I just go resistance potion? Falls to the wall and see what happens? Alternatively, I leave. Leaving sounds nice this time of year. Let's swap over to our other armor and try this again, shall we? We can soften you up with some uh, boomerangs. Let's call phone a friend here. Maybe get some poison stacks going. And that should be enough to kill you as long as I'm not forced into an early retreat. Does this hit my friends? No, it does not. Would you look at that? Perfect. Hop behind this merfolk so that the uh, javelinier has a bit more trouble with us. Unfortunately, our demon friend putting down tons of additional poison damage. And we'll take that plus five trident of freezing from Ilsui. That could definitely do some good work for us here. You know what, maybe I actually stick with this uh, armor temporarily here. Specifically for any uh, potential Aquamancers that we manage to come across, that might be nice to have as a backup option. I also kind of forgot, when did I read magic mapping on this floor? Huh, I must have been in desperate need of a stairwell. Potentially, I had to teleport to get away from a pack of ravenous merfolk. That definitely sounds like a, a very real possibility. <laughs> As we managed to get some of my favorite spells, Irradiate and Dragonform, both added to the library. In fact, no, we're at 10 across the board on spell schools, so probably not able to do any fancy swapping of lifestyles here. But definitely something we can keep in mind. We're not too uh, dead set on continuing this kind of whole arm heavy run here. So if the opportunity presents itself to swap into a bit of a spellcasting capacity, we'll definitely reach out and grab it. Anything to kind of increase our odds of making it through this in one piece without too, too much trouble. And you know what, that is enough of Shoals 2 explored, so we can finally make our way down. Still no Demon Tridents, which is what we're kind of on the, the lookout for here. Fortunately, with most of these buddies being Trident wielders themselves, we can kind of get into some uh, fancy maneuvers here, risking going down the stairs and popping right back up, just because it's fairly low odds that all of them will be right next to us. So that is not too shabby. And there we go. Finally get both harpies brought up in one fell swoop. And that should be our welcoming party taken care of. Um, oh, I'm not even wearing a cloak. So just ask myself, is this better than what I'm currently wearing? And it is indeed better than nothing. So... Drop our scrolls of noise, or actually better yet, since we're carrying around all this useless stuff, let's drop our degeneration potions. Technically, the scroll of noise has some fancy, very niche auxiliary use, so just in case we find ourselves in the exact scenario where it is useful, we'll uh, hold on to that bad boy. We do at the very least now have poison resistance. The first time we came down here, we did not, of course. But that will help us just a smidge with all of our sea snake buddies that we come across. No longer worrying about lethal poisoning at every single step of our journey. So that's that's always just lovely. And don't really want to put all my faith into auto explore. Specifically under the, uh, the danger of potential krakens. Always a... A fun venture. 
So, with that in mind, we'll play it a little bit on the safe side here. Unfortunately, most of our fawn friends are sling-based instead of just carrying around good throwables. At least I think they oftentimes have the chance, as I accidentally pull a bit of a double move there, immediately putting ourselves into a bit of hot water. And here I was questioning how the heck we ended up with uh, so few teleport scrolls. Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Speaking of Kraken infested dangers, let's uh, immediately make our way back to shore here. And maybe just maybe, kind of like pop around this corner a bit more. Hide behind bushes, maybe. <laughs> oh. Oh, I got put to sleep. Uh, who did what now? That's the satyr. Sleep is 59%. Oh, that's very much not grand. Um, let's swap with you, my friend. Out of the frying pan and into the fire. Um... I did learn that I can't hit my friends with constriction, so we can pretty safely bring out that bad boy. Oh. There goes said friend, though. Very unfortunate. Um, switching to a club, even mited, you shouldn't be too, too much of a danger to us. Though we do have our uh, spear friend also poking from beyond here, so that's fantastic. Thanks for that. There we go, and I think our poison might have killed off the satyr. Perfect. Holy moly. Oh, hey, there's the Aquamancer that we were thinking so fondly of earlier. Um, hmm. So we've already found two stairwells. Oh, our pack is full, so now is the time for those noise scrolls, I think, to hit the dirt. Uh, but we found two upward stairwells. If I could just magically come across the third one it would give me a little bit of peace of mind just to know that we have some recourse for if and when things start going horribly out of control just spiraling in the worst way possible you know what a hatch is good enough for me i'll take whatever i can get at this point um if you could walk right over here my friend perfect and, oof. I mean, at least we're not cold vulnerable, but that still kind of hurts. <laughs> Even with uh, a bit of cold resistance, it's unfortunately a bit more than I, uh, I care for here. Let's pop upstairs with you, my friend. And that unfortunately brings us away from that uh, relatively explored and safe looking area. Closer to, uh, who did we leave behind here? Right, bunch of harpies, sea snake, and a water nymph. Always a, a good time. Um, let's get you in sight here. Fantastic. Actually, what is your trident? Protection. Well, at least we have the, the full selection of goods to choose from here in regards to themes of trident, so... So that's nice, I guess. Um, I would actually like to get your attention. Preferably while not standing in a pit of deep water. There we go. I guess standing, flying. Regardless, it's rough. Plus five rapier of speed. Huh. Speak of the devil. Uh, not going to be exceptionally useful on this character, but... Dang, now I'm wishing that this was just a, a repeat of our Uskaya run. Could have had a lot of fun with that as well, but... Say la vie, for the time being here. Let's just get right back in to the driver's seat. Walk away from these turtles, right into a dead end. Perfect. Just what I wanted, really. Um, not at all terrifying. And you, my friend, if you could focus the alligator, maybe if we get enough poison damage, we'll be okay. <laughs> oh, my green death is dead. Oh, no. Um, acid? 
More acid? For good measure? <laughs> Fantastic. Maybe not completely necessary, and I will very likely just sorely miss having that available to us at some point in the future when we come across a high AC unique or enemy in general, but here we are, and at least it brought us, or bought us even, a uh, second chance at life here. And plus five Vorpal Trident. Okay, now that's actually one that I'm very interested in uh, taking from myself. So what have we learned today, folks? It might be that uh, apparently Shoals is the worst place in the world in terms of teleportation scroll expenditures. At least for me here, uh, not just today either, last week and today, I should say. Not fantastic, not ideal by any stretch. Hmm. Well, let's, uh, I guess, just jump right back into it with changing nothing, just like we do every time we make mistakes. Why bother learning when you can just try, try again? At least that's what seems to be the case here. I don't know where our Vorpal Trident friend went, and I actually do really want that one for ourselves. At least temporarily, I'm still crossing my fingers and hoping that we luck out and find ourselves a Demon Trident at some point in our journey here. Yeah, do not drop your beautiful Trident into the deep, deep ocean. Um, I will take you two upstairs. And 36 plus 4 pull 28. Let's reach out and grab you. Then I can at least take a few steps away here. Feel slightly better about myself. Did the other one... Oh, the other one did die. Never mind, finish my own thought there. Fantastic. Um, and, okay, let's kill things before I immediately start sprinting towards the closest downstairs. I guess that makes a, a certain amount of sense. <laughs> things considered. Yeah, with nine intelligence, I'm guessing if I take off my armor, I'm still very much unable to cast things, if I had to hazard a guess here. Actually, up to level five. Huh. Better than I thought, honestly. Spell power is still gonna the absolute garbage, but that's interesting. And speaking of, are there any spells I should just learn now? We have a vocable blink, but we don't have the spell blink. Don't know if there's anything to be said for that. Teleport other? I mean, almost no shot. It actually works, but that's interesting. Summon lightning spire. Now that's an interesting bit of supplementary work, especially if we get lucky with its placement, and we can just poke things from behind the relative safety. Because this is one part of Knolls that I feel like I do not take great enough advantage of. I generally find myself not really casting spells, when really, why not? They're available to us, they don't hurt us if I don't have to swap into lighter armor, so let's try it out. In fact, Mephitic Cloud I'm also kind of looking at as a potential option, especially for this branch, Irradiate, I'll probably want to learn. I feel like Manifold Assault is almost a gimme at this point. 16% failure is not enough to be spamming that bad boy. Maybe I'll hold off on those for just a smidge, but let's try Lightning Spire. Let's try Blink. Pass Wall could very much save my life. I'm hoping I have a lot of amnesia because I'm just kind of willy-nilly pick and choose here. It is liquefaction, just turns things into mud, correct? Difficult to move through, unable to fly, attempts to ca attack the caster melee may fail. That does seem like a spell that might synergize well with a more hybrid playstyle here, so let's try it out. Let's throw it into the mix here and have it as a potential option and then Mephitic Cloud as we mentioned earlier. Probably a, a, a decent idea for us here. Okie dokie. I feel like maybe Blink should swap over. 
Let's put Mephitic Cloud there. Um, Lightning Spire? I mean, not incredible yet, but, you know, we're early days. Scroll of Summoning, on the other hand, is incredible, so I'll immediately pick up that bad boy. Let's bring up the Spire again. Don't last very long, hey, my friend. I mean, fair enough, it's not exactly our uh, forte. I don't know if Lightning Spire health at all scales with spell power, but at the very least, that's the lie I'll tell myself so I can sleep at night as we run across a scroll of acquirement. Now I could, what could I really use? I was about to start listing off things at random, but let's actually think about this for a second. Artifact helmet or boots, of course, nice. A better shield would be lovely. Maybe a better suit of armor, something a bit more uh, utility based than just cold resistance could be nice. Or I guess demonic trident. Cut out the middleman, no need to find a merfolk with it if we just roll one now. Or, you know, garbage across the board. That's cool too. Hmm. <laughs> What's in the Book of Blood? I guess I could learn Wear Blood. It technically kind of synergizes nicely. I think instead, though, if requirement spits in our face, we just uh, spit right back, my friends. And okay, Javelinier took their sweet time waking up, which is lovely. It does mean that we can at least poke past our friend here. Try and get some absurd amounts of poison stacked damage. Then let's, uh, I was hoping we could do more than one cycle on the door dance, but regardless, managed to make it through and s a single silver javelin for my trouble. Thank you, my friend. Um, hmm. What do I have that I don't really need? I mean, attraction is one of those potions that. You know, anecdotally in our past has gotten me closer to dying than it has helped. Uh, I guess Berserk Rage. I do not really need to hold on to here. So let's just, uh, whoa, whoa, take the money and run. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not cool, my friend. Let's try to break line of sight, and if that doesn't work, we'll break it the old-fashioned way. Scroll of Fog. Why have you forsaken me? Um, Box of Beasts. Let's do it. Do it. It's not looking like we're getting out of this <laughs> in the way that we uh, originally planned. Oh, great. Feared and mesmerized. Perfect. Oh, and even my friend is feared. Thanks for that. <laughs> okay, made box of beasts. Was a bit of a uh, an oversight, unfortunately. Didn't really help us at all, and now we don't have it available for when we desperately need it in the future. But that is fine. Let's get some uh, steamed merfolk going on, as we are want to do. And once again, being tugged against our will here thank you for that my uh mesmerizing buddy old pal um let's just pop into the slightest bit of a corner here then is there any way for me to sneak something past not really come on i have to kill the avatar there we go managed to do just that Ooh, get me out, coach. Ooh, it's a bad location for a bit of water strike action there, so let's let's take a break from that approach. Head over this way. And if I could just whittle these down to a few friends at a time, that would be very much preferable for us here. Fantastic. Maybe, just maybe saying there's a, a chance for us here. Um, hello, Javelinier friend. Well, let's try to 
deal as much collateral damage as we can before retreating. I should have maybe tried to grab you while you were not in uh, javelin range here. I really want to stick around and try to take care of some of those sons of guns, but unfortunately I don't think it's a very uh, valid option for us. So let's just get the heck out of dodge. See what this mace is all about. Unfortunately, not much is the answer, but that is just fine and dandy. We'll leave all of our new friends we left behind over at their own section for now. In fact, where? Oh, it was just down here. Hello? Anyone still around? Oh, there you are. Don't know if you're the same friends, but regardless, I'll do my, my darndest to murder you in cold blood. Thank you. Uh, once again, no. We do not go into the deep ocean here. So let's just... Whoa, whoa, take the money and run. Um, oof. Got hit by the trident and the water, I guess. That makes a certain amount of sense. Regardless, it's a stinky boy. Um, I guess my only option is to spend yet another link scroll. What's the range on Water Strike, my friend? Oh, it's seven. Perfect. <laughs> Let's uh, destruct you in a major way. Fantastic. Maybe, just maybe, this is my uh, opportunity. We can always escape up the stairwell immediately. And in fact, that is what we'll do. Play it a little bit on the safe side. Hopefully not immediately spend our last three blink scrolls. Holy moly. Uh, it did not look like our rune was in that last vault, so I guess there's no real need to go back there. Oh, me oh my. One of these days we'll find the keys to the kingdom. Just not today, it seems. Um, hello, my friends. At least we don't have a, a water nymph this time around. A rapier of poison this time. Hmm. Not going to be of any immediate use to us here. And once again, we find ourselves with the, the question of the hour. What the heck can I throw away here? Hmm. Oh, actually, never mind. Poison darts. Sometimes there is an easy answer, folks. Well, that's not too bad at all. I don't love that this one's only entrance is through deep water. Immediately everyone's up and at him. Hello, my friends. At least the javelineers aren't immediately able to access us, so that's, that's nice, I guess. Um, primal wave. Don't really wish to be knocked back here. I could do something like a, a might, or even a might and a haste. As we summon a demon that is not very happy. New plan. <laughs> I walk? Um, hmm, do I risk continuing to walk? <laughs> Maybe my joke about using our last three blinks rolls? Not as much of a uh, a joke as I originally expected. Here we are. Oh, and you pushed us off the stairs. Right, I just read that you can do that. <laughs> um, last scroll of teleportation. I'm just gonna plant dance. <laughs> Don't notice me. No, no, thank you. No thanks. I was actually just leaving my friend. Go around the uh, the long way here. Oh, me oh my. What fun adventures we have. <laughs> okay, well, let's do a bit of a, a stair hop here, shall we? Never mind. We're just gonna fight. Let them fight. Um. I don't really want you to drop your stuff in deep water, so if you could just chill there. Oh, you know what? Thank you. That works out perfectly for me. Appreciate it. 
you know, these, uh, these merfolks, they're pretty kind if you just give them a chance. Just ask nicely and uh, all your dreams will come true. Holy moly. Okay. Now, Aquamancers, last but not least, where the heck did you get off to, my friends? At the very least, they've left their rune unguarded, the absolute fools. So we will pop in here, grab this, and, and probably just leave. That's the crazy thing, is I don't need to murder all of you. I am satisfied with just achieving all my goals in life. What you do with your personal time is no business to me. I'm curious how many droppables we've left behind by not using Auto Explorer at all. I do pretty heavily rely on Auto Explorer saving my uh, my bacon in that regard. I'm sure we're fine. Let's uh, keep going for now and we can always do a bit of a search if we run out of consumable rowing objects. Holy moly, so I guess that's our S branches. <laughs> It was a, an endeavor for sure, but we, with some grit, sweat, blood, and tears, and an absurd number of teleportation scrolls, we finally managed to make our way out. Oh gosh. So what's next for Nadia? Guess vaults. <laughs> Means that I can't swap back to our plus seven chainmail because a single uh, frosty boy is gonna murder us if we are in a bad position. Hmm. After struggling so, so much with shoals, I'm not mentally, emotionally, or spiritually prepared for vaults, but sometimes you just have to, to bite the bullet, I guess. So with that in mind, let's start heading that direction. And see what uh, all the fuss is about, shall we? One more time with feeling, and downwards we go. Still have pretty terrible willpower, so banishment is at a very uncomfortable 11%. Perfect. Uh, if I could pop into a situation where I don't have to fight more than one of you, that seems... Ideal Vorpal Greatsword? Wow. <laughs> 54 plus Vorpal does hurt, you know? Now that I think about it. Um, yeah. Maybe I should have called in some some help here. Phoned a friend, at the very least. Um, two pips of willpower means I can't guarantee fear you. <laughs> oh, gosh. Let's see, maybe we'll burn through all of our consumables and uh, get ourselves in trouble regardless. Because that's what it's looking like right now. Thank you, my executioner friend. Get me out. Get me out of here. Not permanently, of course, because unfortunately that's not an option here today. But, for now. One interesting thing is I've been uh, sticking with... You know, dancing with the one that brought us here. I don't necessarily need to keep the uh, whole arm approach going. I mean, sure, it made it a lot of sense when we were starting our run, seeing as how we, I think, started with something like 10 in our pole arm skill. At this stage, though, how are we looking? We're almost at min delay for a war axe. I think it's 14, broad axe is 16. Um, long blades, similar, like almost a long sword, but not quite. Maces and flails. There was that warning star. Maces and flails. Flail. Um, hmm. So this plus four morning star. Oh, right, contamination, not great. It does give me willpower, though, which I was just complaining about, so should take it but I don't wanna so we're instead just gonna go right back into the, the thick of it give me a servant right I have no teleport I mean 
not that high of a percentage. <laughs> Probably should have thought that one through a bit. Uh, box of Beasts? Oh, I don't have any spots near enough to be open, is my guess. Oh gosh, folks. Let's slow down here a second. Let's take at least a, a brief moment to think about things, shall we? One blink scroll. One final blink scroll remaining, which the only place we can go is out here, deeper into the, the fire, as it were. Oh, Nadia, how did things go downhill so quickly? Hmm. I could just might. Airstrike, not too much of a danger. 20 damage, if you want to just swipe at me, be my guest, please. please. I guess Lightning Bolt and Bolt of Cold are both gonna hurt other enemies. So if I might up, oh gosh, more friends. Okay. 34% chance of being marked is also not good. I think I kind of have to blink past. Hopefully that gives me some space so I can use my box of beasts, I can use summoning scrolls. I hate, I hate to do it. Let's try it out. I mean, hopefully our slimes merge into some terrifying amalgamation here. A box of beasts, you can get out there too, my friend. Do you know what? We're at risk of dying, so I will also haste. And what else can I do to, uh, to make things right here? Let's clone you, I guess. <laughs> Okay, well, you're at least very close to dead, so that's nice. I'm gonna drink a heal wounds. Tuck ourselves back into this uh, sweet spot. As we come to know and love it. Holy moly, is that everyone? Oh, okay, come here. Come here, my friend. Let's just close ourselves into this closet and hyperventilate for a bit, shall we? Oh, me oh my. Which, of course, by which all of that, I mean, uh, we never didn't have it, and beautiful, just as we drew it up. 